All right, so now we're back onto this catwalk. We're gonna go ahead and start establishing our drip rail that will be included on the catwalk. I figured out that I need an inch and five eighths of material. And that'll give us enough to create this trunk panel on the panel itself. We're gonna start by striving the panel on the edge and the catwalk. Okay, I've got my die cam on the panel. I went ahead and did our first scribe line using this tool uh, that my friend Ray Crew, Father Ray, told me about. Really handy. Then I went off of the original first break line, went off of that line to an inch and five eighths, adjusted this, went across it again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim this excess off, and then we'll go to the bead roller and start turning this edge to a 90 down, and then we'll start developing the drip rail. I don't want any welding in this area except down inside the drip rail. The only welding we'll do is on the window area where we can planish those out. All right, let's get going. Okay, we turn the edge on the bead roller. I'm over at the shaker, and we're getting that tuned up to the original shape of the catwalk and the trunk area. I put together a lot of needle gauges off the original catwalk. I'm trying to do this one handed is pretty tough. But we're getting very, very close. Okay, we're over here at the bead roller now. I went ahead and put some more die chem on our flange. I scribed it at one inch. So I've set up the bead roller with a little small radius backstop. I don't know if you can see that. You can't use the fence because this is an outer curve and you won't get tight on your scribe. So on this flange, we're gonna slowly start turning it up and going back over to the planishing hammer and relaxing this flange. If you try to turn this up to a 90, it's gonna pull this panel in super tight and you'll be locked in and it'll be garbage. Here we go. Okay, down to the last step, which is gonna be the little 3 8 lip that folds up. Here's the original profile. And that's where the rubber sits onto. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn that up. Looking really nice. Okay, here we are back at the car. We're all done with this drip rail channel on the catwalk itself. I turned up that last, it was just a little over 3 eighths, like a sixteenth over. Once the catwalk's out of the way, it'll sit in really nice and snug. There's a catwalk with the drip rail included, one piece.